What I have here is Rip X by Hit and Mix. I'm going to extract a bass guitar from a stereo mix, something you can't do in a standard digital audio workstation. Audio Masterclass, by the way, offers online courses to help you get professional results in your own home recording studio. Go to audiomasterclass.com to find out more. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and please share your thoughts in the comments. RipX is a huge software, and I couldn't possibly cover it all in one video. So my plan is to pick out certain things it can do as and when ideas pop into my head. In this video, I'm going to extract a bass guitar from a complete stereo mix and use it to introduce the song. This isn't possible with standard digital audio workstation software, so RipX or something similar is essential. I'm going to use Pro Tools, which has a handy shortcut for getting audio into RipX and back again. But you can do the same kind of thing in any door. Here we go. Here I have some music. That's just Let's listen again. That's just what I would like to happen is to have a bass guitar introduction and then the vocals straight in. Listen again. But I don't have access to the original multi-track, so that means somehow I've got to extract the bass guitar from the intro. Listen again. It's just okay, to do that, I'm going to start off by highlighting a section longer than I need. I'll listen to that section. It's just what I'm going to do is send this section of audio to Rip X, where I'll be able to extract the bass guitar. To do that, I go to the Audio Suite plugins that Pro Tools has, and I select Edit in Rip X. To transfer the audio to Rip X, I click the logo. Here I have some options. I want to rip the audio to multiple instruments. I only need the bass, but I might as well extract everything. I'm going to choose speed over quality because ripping can take a long time, even for such a short segment. Where it says ripping time estimate less than one minute, that is often extremely over optimistic. Save stems only isn't something I need just now. So let's rip. It started to rip, and with the magic of video editing, I can speed it up. So here we have the rip. The different elements are colour coded. We have voice, guitar, bass, bass drum, drums, percussion, and other. It'll be interesting to see what other is. Let's listen to these in turn and see what we've got. Let's listen to the voice first. To do that, I click the solo button. Here we go, let's listen. It's just a that sounds a bit underwater, but the results really do depend a lot on the source material. Let's see what we've got in terms of guitars. OK, that's reasonably convincing. I'll skip the bass and go to the bass drum. That sounds rather dull, so I think that some elements of the bass drum sound might have been transferred to drums, percussion, or perhaps other, but we'll see. Let's listen to the drums. OK, so there we have a nice snare drum. Now the percussion. Okay, I think there might be some of the bass drum in there. We'll check the other. Okay, interesting. Weird, but interesting. Let's try the percussion and bass drum together, see what we get. So we can see from that that we've got some click back in the bass drum. That's good. But it's the bass guitar that I'm interested in, so let's solo that and listen to the bass guitar.
That's turned out really nice and clear. Let's listen again. Good. So I can mock up the effect I want by clicking off the solo at the right moment. Let's try it. It's just a so that's the kind of effect I want. Let me do it again. It's just a Good. So now I'll transfer the bass guitar by itself back to Pro Tools. To do that, I can solo the bass guitar. And up in the File menu, I'll find Update in Pro Tools. So let's do that. So that's good. We've gone directly back to Pro Tools and we see the bass guitar and we can hear it. That's fine. It is too long, so I've processed more than I need, but this will give me the opportunity to use a crossfade if I need to, and I think I will need to. So I'll use the Trim tool to pull back the edit. Let's try it just about there. Now that's way out. Let's try again. I think there. Let's listen. That's just a okay, not bad. Listen again. That's just a so this is where we need a crossfade. So I'm going to zoom in. And I think the crossfade needs to be a little bit asymmetrical, so it needs to be more on the bass guitar side. So here we go, let's try it. So that's my selection. It's just a guess. And I can make a crossfade just by pressing the F key. So now I'll listen to it. It's just a it sounds good. I'll zoom out again so we can see it properly. Let's listen. It's just a so there we have it, a perfect bass guitar introduction to this track. Let's listen once more. It's just a so there we have it, a nice bass guitar intro to a song that didn't previously have one, courtesy of RipX and a little editing. I'm David Meller, course director of Audio Masterclass. Thank you for listening.